Hi everybody, this is Lori at the Calico Cat Quilt Shop and today I'm going to do a demo for these folded star ornaments. Uh, I did one last year um, but I wanted to do it over again and uh, I've got two different methods this year to do them. So let's get started and I'll show you the first way. What you're going to need for each star that you're going to make is four strips of fabric and I've got two of them ironed here already but uh, this the strips that I've been using have been four inches by about 14 inches long um, that works really well because if you cut them four inches or even four and a half inches wide then you can get three strips out of each with the fabric that you've got so it's a pretty efficient way to use your your fabric um, and you can do wider and narrower strips than four inches. Uh, you just have to adjust the length. If you do a narrower strip, you need a shorter length of fabric. And if you're going to do a wider strip, you might need more, uh, depending on how wide you do it. But you'll get a different size star, depending on which way. So you can see this one's a little bit bigger than that one. This one, I think I cut four and a half inches, and this one was four inches. So either way, the first thing you're going to do after you have your four strips of fabric is you're going to iron them. Let's switch over to the iron here. And if you do very many of these strips, um, I do a lot of ironing like that. I do recommend these little silicone uh, thimbles. They're heat resistant and they'll help save your fingers from getting burnt. They do work pretty nice. So I'm going to fold the strip in half and iron it. And then after I get it folded in half, I don't know the best you can see, I'm going to bring the edge, the long edge, right up close. Here's my fold and I'm bringing it close to the edge. It doesn't need to be on the edge. And really what I want is just a clean edge to work with. Then I'm gonna flip it around and do the same thing on the other side. Fold it almost up to the middle. And then I'm gonna press it to get a, a nice edge. And I'm going to do the same thing with all four strips. Iron it in half. Fold up do that line, that middle line, and then press it again. Flip it around, or however is easiest for you. And then press it flat. Okay. Then after I have all my strips pressed, I can start with the folding. So the first method, you fold all of your strips almost in half, not completely in half. I left about an inch, inch and a half, where one end is shorter than the other. And I'll do that with all of them. And I also have to decide, if I have different colors, which ones I want where. And I think I'm going to do the red and the green opposite of each other.
and the blue and the silver opposite each other. So just folding all of them with one end shorter than the other. Okay, now the way these will go is they'll, we kind of work around in either direction, but, um, and this is the part that always challenges me because I have a hard time remembering which one goes where to make it work out right. But suffice it to say, we will put one loop through that way. And then the next one goes through that loop. If I can get it through that loop. There we go. Getting caught in the fold. And then the last one will go through this loop. And then you have to take the first one and put it through. So this locks everything together. And then I can pull it snug so that everything's a little bit tighter together. Okay. So you can see they should be all, there we go, with a shorter end up and a longer end on the bottom. Then I'm going to flip it over and just picking one side, I'm going to fold up over a top loop like that. And then I'm just going to keep folding over until I get back to the beginning. And then with the last one, I've got to go over and under the first one, just like that. And then I can snug everything up again. And it'll be okay if the ends are uneven. We'll trim those off later. So now you should be able to see that there's four ends that are on the top and four ends that are on the bottom. The four ends on the top are the ones I want to work on first. And I'm going to fold behind and make a point. And then I'm going to fold over down so that I've got a V or a point here. And then I'm going to fold that in half. And hopefully that's showing up okay on the camera. And then this one I can kind of loosen up. And I tuck the end underneath there. Like that. And then this end I can trim either before I tuck it in or after. And I just want to trim it a little bit shorter than the bottom of this strip. And then you won't be able to see the end. Now, if I wanted to make these permanent and make sure they didn't ever come out, what I would do is put a little glue in here and put a little glue underneath in there so that they wouldn't come apart. And if I used hot glue, then that sets up fast enough. You don't have to worry about it. If you're going to use like regular school glue or something, um, then I would put a clip on there to hold it until the glue dries. So with that one done, I'm going to rotate and go to my next one and do the same thing. Go behind and fold it. And then over to make a point, fold that in half, loosen this one up a little bit, tuck it in, and then pull that tight. And that works really well until I get to the last one. So behind, over, fold it in half. This one I can see I'm going to have some extra, so I can go ahead and clip that off now. Fit that underneath 
and pull it snug. Now this one I won't be able to pull so much on the blue. Whoops, this is again what I have issues with. Behind, fold it down, fold it in half. I can see this end's going to be long. So clip that off. And then very carefully tuck that end in and straighten everything out. Okay. Now that I've got those four done, I can flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. So behind, over, fold it, and tuck. And then I just keep working my way around this side. Got to trim quite a bit off that one. I know that this is the level that it'll come to, so I'm going to snip that off now. And tuck it in. Hopefully this is showing up okay on the camera. And it doesn't really matter when I trim. Sometimes it's easier if it's still folded open or left open. Work that one in. And if I was going to glue, I could either do them all at the end or I could do it as I went. It wouldn't really matter. So snip the end. And these are fun even for kids to do. Sometimes you have to help them if they're very young. But they can get it. You just might have to help them with which direction they're going when. Okay, so there's my star. Now, this year I figured out another way that I can do this. Um, a little bit different and might be a little bit simpler. The beginning folding is different. And to me, it's simpler for my brain to comprehend it and understand what I'm doing. So let's try that and we'll see how it works. And I start out the same. I've got four strips and this time I'm going to lay them kind of in the order I want them. And I'm just going to weave like you would weave anything else over and under and over and under. And then I'm going to even them out. And it's okay if there's a little bit of space right now. Now, whichever one is on the underneath, I'm going to fold over the top. And I'm going to go all the way around like I did before. So now, let's see, this one is on the top. And this is going to come out to an over under. Then the last one, I fold over and go under the first one. And you can see that this is pretty much the first step I had on the other one. Then I'm going to flip it over and do the same thing. Go over one that's on top, go over, over, 
and then this one has to go over and under the first one. And then I can snug everything up. Sometimes I get a more even result with this way, but not today. So if you feel like you need to readjust anything, you can readjust it now. And then you do the same thing for folding things over. This time, I'm going to take my top one, go over all the way around, and then tuck it in. And I've got them on opposite sides as I had last time, but that's okay. However it works. And then if I was going to glue, all I need to glue is just under here. Just a little dot under there because there's nothing in the middle here. Okay, then move to the next one. And this time I'm going over the top, wrapping all the way around, and then tucking in. And since I already trimmed these ones, because these are, these are the same strips that I just used for the last star, I'm going to wait and trim these till the end and make sure that I've got enough on this side. Because I'm just not sure. So this time we're going over, all the way around. And tucking. It gives you a little bit different look, but it's still the same thing. And sometimes it's simpler to, to remember how to do it this way. Okay, I've got all four on this side done, so now I can flip it over and go to the other side. Over, around, and tuck it in. Hopefully this is showing up on the camera good. Over. Around. And tuck. Over. Around. And tuck. And that ends short, but if I glue it, it'll be fine. If I don't glue it, it might fall out later, but I can also make readjustments and get it centered since it's already trimmed. Last one over, around, and then tuck it in. Okay. And if I wanted to, I could press this and get it a little bit, um, a little bit firmer press, get my corners pressed a little tighter. This one's coming out. And that's where the glue is kind of handy, just to keep it, keep it where you need it. Okay, so now we've got two different ways to make these folded stars and what I would do is if I wanted to hang it on my tree I would take needle and thread and run it through the middle of one side or on a corner if you want to run it through a corner and hang it up this way either way works um, what I like to do is I'll take a piece of twine like this tie a knot on the end and then use the thread to tie the twine on because it'd be really hard to get twine on a needle and, and thread it through there. But if you use the thread, it'll work. And then you've got a cute little ornament to hang on your tree. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again later. Bye.